Hello friends. Now I am going to show you how we can schedule an exe through task scheduler. For that, uh, let us create an console application because this console application is in exe. As I have already created a console application in .NET Core, uh, and in this console application, this is the main method. In the main method, I am just logging the statements like process started, and to simulate the process, I have kept thread dot sleeping. And and I have kept some log statements. Uh, now we are going to execute this exe through a task scheduler in, in in Windows. So for that, first click on this Windows button. <clears throat> Just click on Windows button and search for task. And you see this task scheduler. Just click on this task scheduler. So before that, let me publish this uh, exe. So let me right click publish publish now this has published now let me copy this published folder to the desktop so just copy this and paste it in the desktop I have kept a folder called SharePoint online so we will point to this location from our task schedule exe so <clears throat> to schedule a task as I told just open this task scheduler let me again explain. Let me close the old ones. Just click on the Windows button and search for type task. So you will get this. Click on task scheduler. In the task scheduler, uh, you will have the list of uh, uh, tasks that are by default existing. So now we want to execute our own custom task, the console application exe. So click on this and right click on it right click on this and create new folder so let us name this folder as my own custom tasks okay just click on okay so in this we are uh, going to schedule our own task the exe file which we have created so right click on it and click on create task in this create task let us name it as console application and and triggers and, and the description you can give whatever you want and just click on this run with highest privileges and click on triggers here we need to schedule how we want to execute this task one time daily weekly monthly so let us execute this tasks select the one time I am just running for every uh, two minute for I am just running starting by 1729 and just click on repeat every one five minutes here we have various uh, uh, minutes they have given so let us select five minutes okay click on okay let me put this as 530 click on okay and in the actions here we need to select the exe which we want to execute the console application we have developed in dotnet core right after building after building the console application we will get an exe so we want that exe to execute so i have kept it in desktop sharepoint online publish folder so this is the exe so let us select the exe and in the start in optional we need to uh, give the location of the exe because what happening is if we don't provide this location in the start uh, uh, text box the log the logs are not getting logged to the folder to the log file so for that I have observed and this is very important generally and I struggled by missing this step but finally at last I found out in by searching in Google and found that uh, once we provide this uh, file location in the start then only the log files will get logged from the task scheduler uh, when we run manually the logs are getting logged but to get the logs logged from task scheduler we need to provide the location of the TXE in the start in optional field okay just click on okay now just click on okay now just wait for a minute or a half minute now I have scheduled at 5 30 it is 5 29 so in this way uh, we can schedule the tasks EXE through task scheduler so if you want to run uh, actually it will run by uh, 
when the time gets triggered as we have kept it 729 so what is the time it is 730 once the task get triggered we will get that console window I'm just waiting for that window which proves that the task has triggered now see this task uh, this uh, console window has uh, popped up and this is from our console application and the task is finished and we have scheduled for every five minutes so again at uh, 1735 this task will get uh, fired and run and also if you can run this task manually by clicking on this run button if you click on this run button now as you see this task has started and it is executing now it has finished now you can go to the log files i have kept the log files in the i am just logging the log files in c temp C temp process bit back log C here. These are the logs. Enter main method process started. Exit main method. You observe the code. So enter main method process started. So these are the logs. If you want, I can again show you by running it manually. So here we have our task that is scheduled for every five minutes. Now let us run manually by clicking on this run button. So now if you observe the task has started and it has finished it now if you observe the my log file when i close you can see the logs see the logs has come so in this way we can run the tasks through task scheduler thank you